All right. I'm going to get to this caller that's been waiting for 17 minutes. What, uh, what a blessing. I appreciate them waiting so long. I want to tell you this is Bible Answers. It's a live call-in program dedicated to answering your questions about the Bible. I'm Pastor Don Carpenter from Evangelical Baptist Church, and we have about 13 minutes left. If you want to get on, you need to call up and get in a line, and we'll get to you. 860-361-9985. Hi, you're on Bible Answers. Hi, Pastor. Thank you for waiting. I'm sorry it was so long. I enjoy listening to you, and I actually gain some knowledge. I have an interesting question for you, if you can answer it. Okay. The uh, scripture where Jesus says, you know, the rich man, and it's easier for a camel to get through the eye of the needle. What, is the eye of a needle, is, is that an actual gate of Babylon, or is that just a symbolic parable? Okay. Um, let, me, let me look that up real quick. I'll, I'll answer it. Hang on. Okay. Okay. So, um, in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 23, Jesus said to his disciples, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that a rich man can and shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. Again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? Now this is the important part to get this whole parable. Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible but with God all things are possible so there is an argument okay this I have a needle is this is he talking about taking a big old hairy ugly camel and trying to stuff it through this little thing that you sew with you know a needle That's what I thought. is that what he means needle in the gate of and then there is right there is there is a rock formation uh, called the eye of a needle that is very, very, very difficult for the camel to get through. But if he goes down on his knees and does certain things, it's possible. Right? At least that's, that's the understanding I get. Well, here's... Yeah, I suppose it could be either way, but here's the understanding. Whether this is a rock formation called the eye of a needle or he's talking about the actual needle like this. In this passage, the idea is it's an impossible thing to do with the camel. Okay? Now, it's impossible to take a big fat camel and put it through the eye of a needle, this needle. Okay? You can't do it. And, in, and if it is talking about the rock formation, then still... Again, based on what Jesus is saying, it's impossible to put that big fat camel through this particular rock formation. Whatever it is, whether it's the rock formation or whether it's the little needle, the, the important part to get is that it, it can't be done. Not that it sort of could be done. It can't be done. It can't happen. But with God, it can happen. And that's the whole point. You look at, at a rich man and say, man, a rich man can't get saved. Well, that's true. On his own, a rich man can't get saved, nor can anyone else on their own. On their own, they can't make a move toward God. On their own, they can't uh, call on God. The Bible says in uh, John chapter 6 and verse 44, that no man cometh unto me except for the Father uh, which has sent me, draw him. So on their own, they can't make a move toward God. But with, with man, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. That's the whole point of this passage. Does that help you? Yes, yes, very much. Thank you. Well, you waited 18 minutes for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you had to wait so long. No, no, no. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for the enlightenment. I appreciate it very much. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Okay. Good night.